Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yesenia and today I'm going to give you guys a three month update on how it is having a baby, feeding, eating, all that good stuff because today my baby finally turns three months old so she's no longer considered a newborn. She's an infant now. Ah, time passes by so fast. <laughs> uh, but I'm also going to have like some a little alone time, me time to do things I like. Uh, I'm actually headed out to my last appointment in like five minutes. Then I'm going to do my brows tomorrow and hopefully I can fit in an appointment for my nails because they look a little ugly, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and go to my lash appointment and I'll see you guys after. So I just got back from the eyelash appointment and um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about this one. Um, I feel like I haven't been able to find the right lash person. I've done it before where it's awesome and it's beautiful and it's really really uh noticeable but lately the people i've gone to um i don't know they just don't do a good job like i feel like it's not really noticeable fortunately i moved away from the person that i really liked how i came out so i'm just on a hunt for a really good lash person but it's okay i will continue to search so it's been almost 24 hours and i'm very disappointed with my lashes like there is no lift to them at all. Um, I mean, maybe like a teeny tiny tiny bit, but it's not even noticeable. Like my eyelash color can do more than that. So there's that. But I did just get out from doing my brows and I feel like they came out great. Um, it was just like a shape cleanup type of thing. Um, she didn't fill them in, but it's okay because I'm just going to go back home anyway. Uh, so yeah, at least I'm happy with my brows, not with my eyelashes. Um, I guess... For my nails, I'm gonna have to do it at home because it's a Saturday and I know for sure there's gonna be no appointments. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna probably do it when the baby's napping at some point and try to do like a little cleanup because they're like all over the place. <laughs> and I wore my glasses today because I need to buy new contacts, which I actually just went and got my new prescription. So that's like on the next week list to do. But unfortunately, I do start work on Monday and I had expected to take an extra three weeks of leave, but unfortunately that got canceled and I have to go back to work on Monday. <laughs> so that's in two days and I feel like I'm not ready at all because I haven't figured out a pumping schedule or anything like that. But yeah, I've been pumping a little bit and putting it in the freezer, but I'm definitely nowhere near ready to like, I mean, not commit because I have to commit, <laughs> but I'm nowhere near ready to start. I don't know, I have to figure out um, how I'm gonna keep my milk cool from the drive to work to my house, which is like a 35 minute drive. So I have to buy coolers and stuff. I might do that tomorrow, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Plus I'm gonna miss my baby, <laughs> which is like the main part. But the good thing is she's gonna be able to stay at home with her dad. So she doesn't have to start daycare just yet. Um, there's no problem with starting daycare at 12 weeks. I just, myself, I was hoping I can like hold off on it a little longer because I know they start to get sick right away and all that stuff so um personally i just would have liked to stay longer but my baby did just turn three months technically as of yesterday but like month wise it'll be on like wednesday i think but yes she has gone through like so many stages already i can't believe it. it's only been three months <laughs> uh we've gone like through baby acne through cradle cap which she still has um sleeping it's been some really really good nights some not so good especially when she's flush of eating but yeah i'm gonna get into it all right now while i'm getting my coffee i'm gonna go ahead and start off with a little three-month update and basically she's been a really good baby uh i don't know why i'm holding this but <laughs> she's been a really really good baby uh so i have no complaints there but you know some days are harder than others and basically I'm gonna start off with sleep because I feel like that's what everyone wants to know about. And basically, I feel like it's been a journey and I'm just gonna say it, my baby is like a really good baby. Basically, at first, when she was like a really, really newborn in the first couple weeks, yes, I had to wake her up every three hours, uh, no matter what time of day or night, so that way she could eat and I breastfeed. So of course, you know, it had to be me. And I, I didn't start the bottle until maybe around, what was the recommended date? Like four to six weeks to introduce bottle so they don't get that nipple confusion anyway yes in the beginning uh waking up every three hours was kind of hard i mean for me personally i feel like i'm the type of person that i can get little to no sleep 
and still function perfectly the next day and you won't even know I had no sleep but that can only last for so long you know after like a couple weeks my body started to like, kind of like break down in a way um I got like a fever I think I had a cough like, um just because I wasn't like 100% what to do with the breastfeeding so yeah breastfeeding was kind of hard but I will talk about that now uh, sleep wise uh, in the beginning she slept like a baby literally she slept all the time <laughs> I had to wake her up to eat um, but then she kind of got into a schedule which I appreciated it she would actually wake up every three hours during the night so I already knew it I think it was like uh, I would put her to bed around 11 or 12 and then she would wake up at 3 at 6 at 9 it was like clockwork I liked it because I I knew what was coming up and when Thank you too. And then she got like unpredictable <laughs> at some point where some nights she would sleep four hours and it was the government wrong, I'm not complaining, it was great. And then she would wake up maybe like two hours after that until little by little um, she was sleeping a little bit more week by week. So until like last week she was actually sleeping really really good. She would sleep five to six hours at a time and then I would feed her maybe once um, during the night and then would knock out again but this past week uh, I think she's cluster feeding again and she's going to like a growth spurt or something because she's been hungry <laughs> she eats so so much and she's been waking up maybe two hours during the night to eat during the daytime it's like boob 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 so she's definitely growing which you know I, ex I expect honestly every like a couple weeks for this to happen however nighttime sleeping I think for the most part we're really good with it's nap time that I have not figured out at all. She will not nap during the daytime. She'll fall asleep on me and then she'll take like a 10 minute nap while I burp or whatever. I put her down and then she wakes up every time. Or if she doesn't wake up immediately, she'll wake up in 10 and 20 minutes. I'm almost not mastered a nap down and I really need to. <laughs> I really, really do. So if you have any tips for that, just let me know, please. So kind of moving on to breastfeeding. Uh, I feel like in the beginning it was very difficult for me because I honestly had no idea what to do and even at the hospital I had no idea I talked to the lactation consultant at the hospital when I was there every single day I stayed there for three nights no yeah I think three days two nights maybe um, but anyway I asked for the lactation consultant every day and every nurse that was on shift I was like I feel like I'm not doing it right it really hurts and I feel like I got different advice from like different nurses yeah, I feel like my baby definitely has some latching issues in the beginning. She had a very shallow latch, which would really hurt me. And the thing is just because I wasn't used to someone eating on my nipples. So it definitely felt sore all the time. So I would I put the little creams on it. It's like organic cream. I put the lemon in cream. Um, it could kind of help, but it, uh, it still hurt. So, But I, honestly, I think it was just time and getting to know my baby. I don't know. After a few weeks, I feel like my body got used to my baby, and basically my baby, she definitely has a shadow latch now, and but it doesn't really hurt me anymore, and that's just how she feeds, and I'm okay with it because it doesn't affect me, it doesn't hurt me, and she's eating because she's definitely gaining weight at every appointment, um, she's in a good scale, so I'm not worried about her not gaining weight or anything like that. What really helped me was being mentally strong, like I knew that I wanted to breastfeed, and I knew all the benefits and I just really want to try it out for myself. Not like I have anything against women like feeding or anything else like that. I just personally, I just want to try it out. So speaking of how hard it is to make her take a nap, I've been like trying to get her to sleep for like, what time is it? Three, for maybe like three hours now, uh, ever since I got home. She's been sleepy, I try to put her to sleep. I put her down, she wakes up. One of the times she was actually falling asleep and she pooped, so I had to go change her. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so breastfeeding, it was kind of difficult in the beginning, um, but I got the hang of it. Now we're all like Gucci, she likes to feed on me all the time, I'm good with it. Um, I started pumping recently, so I can like have a freezer stash, but unfortunately I don't have a lot, and I don't want to pump too much during the day, because I do breastfeed her ex exclusively for the most part, so I don't want to like have an oversupply issue. So I don't know how I'm gonna work with that. Uh, once I figure it out, I could make a schedule on how I bottle feed and breastfeed at the same time, how pumping goes. I can make that in the future once I do get the hang of it, but right now, 
I'm trying to learn as I go, especially since I have to go to work on Monday. But moving on to the fun thing, she's been talking so much. She talks a lot. And I mean, it's not really so much talking, it's the cooing, the ah, ooh, and the random little ah sounds. Sometimes I swear she says ma, not mama, but ma. So like, we're a little step closer to saying mama, first than dada. <laughs> but yeah, especially she started giggling about three, four days ago. She did it once, then she did it again like two days ago. And then today, oh my God, I was tickling her and she was cracking up oh my god she makes my day uh she's hearing your baby laugh for the first time and then like i get to hear that all the time now oh my god it makes me so happy and all those bad nights or like bad times where i can't get her to sleep and she looks at me and smiles it just makes my day to be honest and so with that she's also been um discovering her hands so she'll like be laying down and like kind of like staring at her hands so she gets entertained with that for a few minutes at a time uh, sometimes I can actually put her down on her play mat and she'll be like looking at the toys looking at her hands and I get to like brush my teeth make breakfast get ready for the day and that type of thing um, but yeah she's she's discovering her body and I think that's so cool to see because obviously as an adult you don't think about that and you're not gonna remember that but seeing your baby experience it that's so cool so with all the talking she also does a lot of the um, bubbles and that means a lot of baba a lot of baba going down her face um i think i don't know if that also means she's starting to teeth i feel like in her gums at the bottom i see a little bit of white but um i don't know if it's too soon to start teething she's 12 weeks so um i mean i know she's gonna start soon so i think that's part of the process maybe that's why she's also been fussy another milestone she hasn't met yet but she's starting to kind of like get the groove of is rolling over um a lot of times when i put her in the bassinet she doesn't roll over completely but she puts her face and half her body trying to turn it but she can get her legs to turn so i think she's trying to learn for sure on how to roll over so with that being said we did have to stop swaddling her around two months because that's when she started doing it about like two months in a week around there i thought that transition from swaddle to sleep sack was gonna be horrible and it was for like two days <laughs> it was like horrible because obviously she's used to being swaddled and comforted and held tight all the time for sleeping and then one day to the next her arms are free and it's not the same and the startle reflex would get her a lot but now she does it less and I think she got used to it literally in like two days and now she sleeps just fine with the sleep sack. Which I think she enjoys now anyway because when she wakes up she can lick her hands, she gets to move around and all that. So I mean it works out in the end. Um, I know it's different for everybody so just remember you can have a hard baby but it's also possible to have an easy baby. <laughs> so um yes so also something else i've noticed is super super dry skin and i think it's a combination of babies getting dry skin but also the dry weather outside it's currently like still winter so i mean last night it was like zero degrees so fahrenheit so it's definitely cold yeah she has really really dry skin i talked to the doctor about it they sent her home with some banding cream so i've been using that and it's been helping but but i see that she still has the dry skin um, so I do try to apply it all the time when I teach her diapers and when I shower her. Hopefully it'll go away soon. And then speaking of dry skin, she also has the cradle cap on her head. I swear, every time I say cradle cap, I automatically want to say cradle crap. <laughs> and that's basically what it is. Bunch of, uh, just a bunch of flakes on her head. Um, I've been trying to use a brush to kind of like take it out. But it's not really working. I think I'm going to buy a specific shampoo for it. And I haven't tried the baby oil trick. I do have to try rub some oil on it and then brush it out. But I've been to Target twice and I haven't seen the baby oil. So I think I have to go to like Walmart or Walgreens or something and get it there. But I don't really think it's affecting her in any way. It doesn't seem to bother her at all. Something else that she had was the baby acne. It's gone by now, but I think she started getting it around, I want to say one month around there. Uh, she had the really bad baby acne. She had like little bumps everywhere. But it kind of went away naturally and I read about it that it's totally normal. It happens in a lot of babies. And I did try to put some breast milk on it. At least that's what my doctor told me to do. Any, um, so I tried it and it seemed to help a little bit. But I think it's just something she had to grow out of uh, the phase. So I expect the same with the cradle cap and the 
dry skin but i'm here to help her and assist her to try to get rid of it faster and she also had her two month vaccines recently it was a little after her two month birthday just because appointments and all that but um yeah i think she did a pretty okay wasn't the best she definitely cried a lot but i think it was just the shock because then once we were out of the office she was fine <laughs> thankfully she didn't get fever or anything but we did buy the baby tylenol just in case uh, but she did great she did great um she just got a lot of cuddles that night and she slept a lot which um was helpful for us but yeah i think those are like the main things for like my little three month update she's in doing really good she's all smiles well not all smiles smiles and fussiness but when it smiles it feels like that erases all the fussiness from my mind so there's that <laughs> uh i really do love her um i can't wait to see all the other milestones like when she starts crawling and walking and saying mama oh my god the day she says mama i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be so happy <laughs> but yes guys i'm really excited to see her grow and just become her own person and like to see her personality i'm just I'm so happy that I'm here to teach her and to just and to see the world and I'm really excited for that. And that's everything I have for today. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel. Uh, I have been slow with the uploads just because having a newborn was very time consuming and especially now that I'm going to start work. But I do really enjoy making these videos and I want to make more. And that is everything I have for today. I will see you guys next time.